Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're having a lovely day. On this channel, I often discuss the things that I think are screwed up in the world. Sometimes I will do it in the early days from a beige lounge chair, and now I do it from a blue rocking chair. But very little has changed in terms of the format over the past 10 years. And one of the topics that's taken hold more than anything else is this idea of right to repair. The idea that once you buy something, you own it, and you should be able to fix what it is that you own, and that company should not go out of their way to make it as difficult and impossible as humanly possible to be able to work on something that you own. And as the years have gone by, the topic on this channel has shifted a little bit from just basic right to repair to the general concept of ownership. The idea that if you buy something, do you own it? Or does the company get to dictate what it is you're allowed to do with what you own after you have paid for it? This general overarching idea of freedom and how it is being taken away. And very often people will say, well, why is it that you're only discussing this? Or, this is so negative. I can't believe you're always discussing the negative. Nothing good comes of this and this, that, and the other. And today I want to talk about why it is we discuss these things and the positive that actually comes from it. So a few weeks ago, I did a talk on Arlo cameras. Arlo cameras take the L with disposable junk. Arlo used to create these cameras where they promised, I believe it was something like lifetime storage or something like that, to be able to get alerts if you're using the smartphone app, to be able to see what it is that happened when an emotion event is triggered and stuff like that. And the company seems to have been purchased by somebody else. And when that happened, our they were end of life and the again, no support, no firmware updates, no bug fixes. Okay, whatever, you expect that. But the serious issue was that you were not going to get the storage that was actually promised on the box of this fairly expensive camera at the time. And somebody in the forum rightfully complained, given that there is no way to link the queue to any offline storage, I think it's bad policy to leave us with nothing. Even 24 hours would be useful given the promise on the box. So again, there was no subscription plan for this. And the problem here is, again, let's say they disable your ability to use cloud storage. You can then not modify the camera that you bought that claimed it would give you lifetime storage to be able to use your own cloud server. So you can't use their storage anymore, even though the box said you could, and you can't use your own NAS because it doesn't allow you to. So like, you, what, you just got screwed? Anyway, a few weeks after I released that video, this news came out. This comes from The Verge. Our low security cameras will keep free cloud storage for existing customers after all. Security camera company Arlo is reversing course on its controversial decision to apply a retroactive end-of-life policy to many of its popular home security cameras. On Friday... Arlo CEO Matthew McRae posted a thread on Twitter announcing that the company will not remove free storage of videos for existing customers, and that it is extending the EOL dates for older cameras a further year to 2025. He also committed to sending security updates to those cameras until 2026. The end-of-life policy was due to go into effect January 1st, 2023, and removed a big selling point, seven-day free cloud storage for many Arlo cams. McRae now says all users with the seven-day storage service will continue to receive that service uninterrupted, but he did note that any future migration will be handed in a seamless manner, indicating that there are changes coming still. The thread did not provide details on specific models other than using the Arlo Pro 2 as an example of a camera that will now end of life in 2025 instead of 2024 as previously announced, with security updates continuing until 2026. There was also no update on the plans to remove other features, such as email notifications and E911 emergency calling, or whether the legacy video storage will remain. The end of life policy applied to the following devices and they list those devices and you can see the Twitter thread here where he says, we listened to feedback and concerns from Arlo users since our announcement. I personally interacted with many of you and deeply appreciate the viewpoints and where we should make adjustments. So the thing that I think genuinely needs to change here that I don't see mentioned over here is having the ability to change where this is actually shooting stuff out to. If there, there's no such thing as a lifetime commitment to giving you seven day storage, like that's just, that's it, it's just not possible to make these commitments. It's like saying you have unlimited bandwidth on your, on your account. It's like saying you have unlimited storage and hosting. It's just, it's a meme. You can't do that. But I, and I, and I understand them eventually going back on this. The problem is not allowing people to use their own NAS or their own storage to be able to use all of these functions. Give people the ability to set up their own self-hosted, self-managed server that allows them to do everything that this does. If you're going to end of life it, that's fine. End of life it, make it so that the, this seven-day storage that they thought that they were going to be able to get no longer works at all unless they buy a new camera. Whatever. I, I'm, not, I'm not even saying that they shouldn't be able to do that. Make it so that people can run this shit in their home. Self-hosted, self-managed, 
you're able to use it. You're able to do what you please with it if you don't want to support it anymore. Or you can continue supporting it. But to not support it anymore this soon after people purchased it, have them pay a high price for something that is now essentially useless, and not give them the option to be able to actually have this work with the device and server and storage of their choice is kind of shitty. And the thing that I think is really important to understand here is that these types of changes do not occur unless people speak up about them. Yes, it's easy to say, oh, look, it's another video about something bad happening. But you need the video about something bad happening in order for something good to happen. And this, I think, is a step in the right direction. It is a step towards those people that paid for a certain product with a certain service actually getting what they paid for. That is what we hope to see accomplished here. That is what I like to do with this channel. And this is, this is the type of progress that I enjoy. That's the reason. And again, more people should speak up about this. More people should make it clear, obvious, and evident that when they buy something, they believe that they own it. They want to be able to control what they do with what they own and not have a company control what they do with what they own. If more people don't speak up about this when it occurs, we will live in a world where you own nothing and you're probably not happy. Every now and then for there to be positive change, somebody has to be an asshole. Not violent, not crazy, just just a little bit of an asshole. And if that means that we have more outcomes like this and less outcomes like this, then I'm happy. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.